This could be the most powerful typhoon ever to hit land. From dawn, winds up to 200 miles an hour started to batter the Philippines' central islands. In the eastern province of Leyte, the coastal town of Tacloban was swamped by storm surge. Streets turned into rivers of debris. Satellite images tracked the typhoon's relentless progress. It's now heading towards Vietnam and southern China. Millions of people had been urged to seek shelter. Some, though, had chosen to stay put. Filipinos are well used to typhoons. They've had more than 20 this year, but none of this strength. And the country is still recovering from an earthquake last month that left hundreds dead and tens of thousands of people living in temporary shelter. Today, those same people had to face a super typhoon. The president has called for the country to pull together. As always, no storm can bring a united Filipino people to its knees. It is my hope that we all stay safe in the coming days. Large parts of the central Philippines are without power, with phone lines also down. And after such heavy rain, there remains a high risk of landslides. People across the Philippines are facing a difficult night. The capital, Manila, has largely avoided the brunt of the damage, but elsewhere, aid agencies are saying that the damage could be unprecedented. One United Nations official here told me hundreds of thousands of homes could have been damaged or destroyed. Already, many families here have lost everything, but it may be days before we know the full extent of the damage and the number of lives that have been lost. John Donison, BBC News, Manila.